Hi, my name is Aslıhan Gürbüzel and I am the undergraduate program director and a professor of Ottoman history. Hello, my name is Michelle Hartman and I am the director of the Institute of Islamic Studies and a professor of Arabic literature. We are here to introduce you to our program in the Institute of Islamic Studies, which is called World Islamic and Middle East Studies. Our program covers the Middle East as well as other parts of the Islamic world, such as South Asia and the Muslim diaspora in the rest of the world. We are also home to the African Studies program and we offer a variety of courses on African history, politics and language. For the World Islamic and Middle East Studies program, which we abbreviate to WIMES, W-I-M-E-S, we offer a major and also a minor. As well, we have a minor in languages, which means you can concentrate on one or more of the languages we offer in the Institute. We're proud to have a vibrant Islamic studies program with nearly 140 students who either major or minor in WIMES. We offer language courses in regularly in four languages, Arabic, Persian, Turkish, and Urdu Hindi, from the introductory level all the way through to the advanced levels. Students are presented with opportunities to use their language learning in many different ways in the Institute, including fully immersing themselves in the literatures and media of their chosen language or languages. To be a part of our program means to be part of a close-knit community of students and professors who come together for a wide variety of different kinds of activities, as well as courses. Throughout the year, we organize many events that bring together students, professors, and community members, and this makes our institute a special place to study, learn, and come together. The Islamic Studies Library is another place connected to our institute where students gather to study. We often co-sponsor and hold events together and spend time in the library itself. Some, kind, some of the kinds of events typically organized by students include weekly thematic coffee hours, trivia nights, student-to-student -student language tutorials outside of class. We always have an annual celebration of the Persian New Year organized by professors and students in the Persian language program. We hold lectures, workshops, seminars, and many other kinds of discussions that are organized by professors, students, and combinations of professors and students together as well. At the Institute, you will have a chance to explore Islamic studies from many different angles and approaches. Some of our courses are in history, others anthropology, some political science, some literature, and we even combine these courses that take a multidisciplinary approach. Uh, in our institute, we explore our topics from multiple angles and conceive of the Islamic world very broadly. Our program is designed to allow maximum flexibility so you can pursue thematic interests, a regional focus, or study a broad range of things to complete your degree. Please continue watching to meet some of our professors and learn about the topics that they teach in more detail. We hope to see you at the Institute of Islamic Studies. Hello, welcome to the Institute of Islamic Studies at McGill University. My name is Professor Sarah Abdul Latif. I specialize in Sufism, gender, and the Quran. I teach a variety of courses here at the Institute, including introduction to the history and interpretation of the Quran, as well as advanced topics in Sufism. We hope you enjoy the time that you spend with us and we look forward to welcoming you on campus. Hi everyone. Congratulations on being accepted to McGill. My name is Leila Parsons and I'm a historian of the modern Middle East. I have a joint position in the Institute of Islamic Studies and in the Department of History and Classical Studies. Uh, you can look up my research on the web if you want to check me out. Um, I have a website on the Institute of Islamic Studies uh, website. And I teach classes on the history of the modern Middle East, on the history of Palestine, on the history of British and French colonialism, and on the history of the Middle East in the 1970s. So welcome, um, and I very much hope that I'll be seeing you in my classes next year. Hello, uh, my name is Prashant Keshav Murthy. I'm Associate Professor of Iranian uh, Persian Studies in the Institute of Islamic Studies. 
I uh, teach courses annually on uh, Persian literature and undergraduate course uh, taught in English translation. I also teach advanced Persian every winter term. I offer graduate level courses on autobiography in the Islamic world. Um, I also design independent readings courses, um, depending on student demand and my own abilities on classical Persian poets, um, on historical topics within the, within, within the Persian Aid domain, within the Persian Aid world. Um, and uh, my interests range uh, from classical Persian literature, Urdu literature, the history of Persian language commentary and literary criticism, and Urdu, can Urdu canon formation. Um, so these are the range of my interests. I welcome you to the Institute, and I'm happy to answer any questions you might have by email. Thank you. Welcome to the Institute of Islamic Studies. I am Rula Jordi Abisal, and I, I'm a professor of Islamic history. I teach a number of courses with the central themes of the Islamic tradition, authority, religion, and power. I teach a course introduction to Islamic history, and I teach an introduction to Shia Islam that covers many different aspects of the 12 Shia tradition more specifically. I also teach a course on the medieval madrasa, uh, which is uh, you know, exciting about uh, teaching uh, methods and uh, construction of legitimacy uh, in the tradition during the medieval period. And I also teach a course from Baghdad to Cordova that links together and interweaves the intellectual, sociopolitical, and cultural links between the uh, central Islamic lands in the East with Baghdad at the center to the Western Islamic lands in Spain or Andalusia and the center being Cordova. So uh, this is an overview and I hope that your experience at McGill is going to be pleasant. And um, thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Rob Wisnowski. I am a specialist in medieval Arabic and Islamic philosophy and theology. And I teach mm -hmm. a undergraduate survey course of the history of Islamic philosophy and theology uh, from the beginning of the Islamic period all the way up to the 21st century. And I also teach advanced classical Arabic. And um, that's a class where we read uh, religious texts, uh, Quran and Hadith, and um, the biography of the Prophet Muhammad, and also belletristic li literary texts in the second part of the semester. So, uh, so both medieval Arabic philosophy with texts in English translation, but also advanced classical Arabic. And I very much look forward to seeing some of you in my classes and I want to wish you a warm welcome to McGill and best of luck with your studies. Hello everyone, this is Pune Shabani Jadidi. I'm the director of the Persian language program and senior faculty lecturer of Persian language and linguistics at the Institute of Islamic Studies, McGill University. Um, I teach um, three years of Persian language. Um, so at the Institute, as you know, we offer um, four full years of Persian, uh, beginning with first year introductory Persian, second year lower intermediate Persian, third year upper intermediate Persian, and fourth year advanced Persian. So if you would like, you can take Persian language as a minor, uh, by taking 18 credits of these Persian language courses that I just mentioned. You can also take Persian literature courses along with your Persian language courses. Um, in the Persian language classes, um, uh, what I do is um, I offer um, courses on um, Persian language and its structure and also interesting readings, as well as um, newspapers, as well as Persian literature, both classical and modern, both prose and poetry. Um, so we start with the first year, which is more general, and it will give you all the grammatical points and uh, most of the words that you need in order to conduct a simple conversation in Persian. In the second year, the text will be paragraph long, so it would be longer. 
and we will study some, uh, we will read some news and um, we will also read some examples of uh, modern and classical prose and poetry. In the third year, we also have um, some longer texts which focus on different aspects of um, the Persian world and Persian language, Persian culture, as well as Persian literature. And um, each uh, week we will concentrate on one canonical poet. We will read their most important, most representative poem and we will discuss it in class. And um, um, it's going to be very interesting and I'm very much looking forward to meeting you in my classes in the Institute of Islamic Studies. Thank you.